We're gonna explain the Christmas tree another time, but first, I would love to show you my new studio. I'm calling the Juke Studio. Let's take a little tour. Come on in. We're gonna close this to keep the, keep the heat in here. My name is Josh Cantu. I'm a videographer and just a creative person in general. Recently, I have decided to switch gears into a full-time YouTuber, and to do so, I decided to make a studio where I could be as creative as possible. Now in here on this tour I'm about to give you is my Juke Studio, which has all my favorite things in here. Things where I can be creative, things where I can edit, things where I can play video games, watch movies, entertain, have my friends over, and uh, I would love to show you around. So one of my inspirations for uh, creating is Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. We're literally flying across the country to take one photo. It is raining pretty hard right now. Should be snow up top. Look, you can't even see the mountain. You can't drive up here? Just because it's too dangerous. I still can't even believe it. It worked. Every day. A proper daily vlog. Oh, good I'm job. psyched. Find an audience. Find a small audience. Slightly less small audience. Find your audience. Tell your story. Start a conversation. Get that idea out of your head and into your video. Make, make again. Make something terrible. Make it slightly better. Make it a lot better. Make it great. Have you ever seen Casey Neistat's video? He has a very functional workstation where he could just make things happen. Top down shots. So that was the inspiration behind this workstation here. I have my tools where I need them. I have wood under here. I have all kinds of things stashed away in places that I know where exactly where they are. I can do my wood shop stuff if I need to. Every content creator knows that you need fuel to keep going on those late night edits. So I have stocked in here, energy drinks, drinks, snacks, all kinds of stuff um, to keep you going when you need that extra pick me up in the middle of the night. Uh, I also love working out. It gives you natural endorphins. Um, so I have some pull-up bars here, some weights. You can do push-ups, you can do sit-ups in here. We're all at a yoga mat. I got, over here, I got my TV set up where I have my Xbox. Um, I love playing Fortnite, trying to play live with my friends over in California, over in Utah. I'm thinking about trying to make a streaming studio, so that might be a future episode of creating a streaming studio. I might move over to PC instead of Xbox, but at the moment, I am a big fan of playing on Xbox. Besides that, I got the DVD player, which uh, if there's anybody knows from the 90s, there's something about just opening the clamshell, putting in the CD, putting in the DVD, and making that happen. Um, we also have a Blockbuster here in town, and me and my buddy might go to Blockbuster tomorrow and film a little video. I am a 90s kid, and so I do have a little bit of a collection. Now my collection would be Pokemon cards from the 1999 era. Um, they do make them to this day, however, I like collecting the original ones. Um, these are some of my favorite cards in here. All in order, and uh, my pride and joys. Uh, I've spent, you know, a little bit of money on these over the last five, six years, but uh, I'm very proud of them, and I uh, worked hard to get them, and uh, I keep them nice and neat in this binder. Uh, over here is my editing station, where uh, it's a little bit under construction. I do mostly edit on my laptop, um, but I like having a spot where you can kind of post up, sit on the couch, do whatever you need to do. Um, and then most of the stuff is usually in my gear closet. But today I'm gonna be adding some Polar Pro ND filters to my cameras, uh, giving them a fresh start. This one's a couple of years old. I love entertaining. It's part of my personality to play games. I grew up playing baseball, soccer, flag football, um, hide and go seek. And so I love having games. I got the Connect 4 in here. If anybody wants to challenge me, I'm undefeated. And uh, I got a couple more cool games over there I'll show you in a second. And uh, over here, big part of my personality is music. I love music. I'm a country fan. I'm a you know pop music fan, uh, vintage rock, um, heavy metal. I also like playing instruments. I play guitar, I play a little bit of piano. I grew up in California. The artist from this is from Reno. His name is Bryce. He's super talented. And uh, these are some of my favorite prints by him. Moving on, I have Chloe's little seat. I am a father. 
I'm my daughter, 16 months old. She loves coming in here and hanging out. I've made sure that this area is baby proof. She is allowed to strum my guitars. She's allowed to touch anything she wants. Um, Pokemon cards I put up a little bit, but she can turn on the Xbox, whatever she wants. Come play with her Pokemon toys. These are hers and uh, climb on the couches or whatever. So I made sure that I designed this studio to be in a line with being a father, etc. Usually this motorcycle is under a tarp or something. She doesn't bother, bother with it and it's nice and sturdy. Not gonna fall over on her. Um, the games I was talking about earlier, we have some games where we can host friends over. And then hidden behind here, I have a charging station where you can kind of tuck things in there, charge them under here, and then up above the fridge is my second charging station. One last thing that I was really excited about is uh, I did install some uh, color changing lights here in uh, these two lamps in one of these soft boxes. And then there's another soft box that you can uh, change them on your phone. Uh, what are they called again? Uh, Philips Hue lights. Philips Hue lights. So we're going to get those working uh, so you can change these to different colors. But one of my favorite modes of this studio is that you can change it to this really cool kind of like, I call it like a Stranger Things vibe, which is more just like kind of an 80s retro cool red and oranges. And so we're going to do that right now. So as you notice, the lighting got a little lower, you know, it's kind of darker, kind of more of a warm feel. You can sit here, watch a cool movie, have the lights behind the TV kind of accent the movie and the, say you're watching Star Wars and the lightsabers are going. Um, so it's a really cool atmosphere that I wanted to build here. And I built two sections with the top lights, like an orange side and a red side to kind of give you a little bit of division. But I also use the vaulted ceilings to give it a little bit more of a height thing so you don't feel like so claustrophobic in here. Um, one thing I do want to add to my build coming soon is going to be a Juke Motion Pictures logo. I don't know if you know my company, but I have uh, a production company called Juke Motion Pictures. Had it since 2016. And I'm gonna have uh, a logo here, still designing it, but uh, basically when I sit here at my desk and I edit, talk to the camera, it's gonna be in my background. Uh, but that's about it for my tour. My name is Josh Cantu. Uh, I make cool videos here on my channel. I have cool friends who are linked in the description below. And if you wanna keep checking out some of my content, take a look on what I have. Um, you can always filter by most popular, filter by my newest, but there's always something new to watch. I'm trying to post once a week and uh, trying to take this YouTube thing seriously. I appreciate you guys being here being a part of it. And uh, like I like to say, life is short, so make it epic. All right, see you in the next one. I'm supposed to have a, a workstation here, which I've neglected. Oh.